So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mayfield looks to throw. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Over the middle, it's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Steam going. Now Mayfield on third and goal. And he will not get away. He sacked back around the three-yard line. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Throwing Mayfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown pass to Austin Hooper. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing. Last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, and you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from which. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. The D tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No. Anyway, so how happy we was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground. He's going to have to put a nickname after. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first round pick, Kevin Johnson. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line. Long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Mayfield finding Odell Beckham with a touchdown pass. And the Browns have taken the lead. Now Mayfield. Caught left side. It's Beckham. That's good. In the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown pass to Austin Hooper. And the Browns add six to their lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got to recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A first down throw for Mayfield. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 16-yard line. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. Watch the shift. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Next to go in the 4th. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. There wasn't the but in this case, you're exactly right. Second level, probably because they moved up to the first level, and that hurts them. They get three yards close. 